So today we're doing something actually different from Grim Dawn. And we're going to be giving Massive Chalice a go. Massive Chalice was recently on sale on my list, so I decided to snatch it up, and we're going to give it a go. Um, wolf overclocked. Hopefully I'll be able to have that difficulty. Let's see. I'm going to start it on normal because we're starting a new, we're completely starting a new game. So, um, what happens here is you get to pick a, you get to pick five banners and these are your five starting characters and I kind of looked through these already so I kind of know which ones I want to go with. The game does have full controller support, but just right now it's, it's quicker and easier to do this all through, um, was Aether one of them? It was. I don't think I can pass up, pass up McKnight, so. I'm going to let the starting cinema play, and then, it's well, taking too long. I can just skip it. There's a stillness to the air right before battle, like the world is taking a deep breath. Now knock the wind out of them. So, um, I, I looked at this. Found one of our alchemists. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> the explosions are big, so aim well or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. This looks very different from the area I started in before. Maybe I shouldn't have hit skip so quickly, but whatever. Um. I can't see where any... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to take some getting used to to figure out uh, just what exactly I got to do in in these battles. Oh, right, there's a fog of war. Um, so there are action points per character and what it is your first action point um, this is basically how far I can move on my first action point and then this is how far I can move on my second one so we're just gonna we're just gonna go right in so we got another alchemist and I'm gonna hit end turn attacking at close range is good but attacking from afar where one can think and plan is better if you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Actually, the hunter will be in front of you, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? And a lot of alchemists. Not that I mind. <laughs> this is a caber jack. They hit things with a caber. Sometimes they hit hard and put things down. Other times they hit not so hard and just knock things out. Then what are you going to say? Simplest way of life there is. Caper jacks. Found purveyors of violence. Okay. Now we have the enemy's turn. Or not. Oh, 
So let's see, we got my caper jack here. Let's just have him, we're going to have him or her, I can't see from this distance, move in. Sue Blue Fox. I have a special, there's a special place in my heart for tactical RPGs. Especially if they're really good ones. Um, because of Final Fantasy Tactics, which is probably my favorite game. Well, no. Um... No, 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 no. Uh, okay, trigger good. Um, I say probably my favorite game because Link to the Past is 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 like usually the other one. The other the other big uh. Big game I list as my quote unquote favorite game. Oh, we got an enemy finally. First catch of the day. I can't tell you much about the cadence, but it's not much as no. It's old. First sighted centuries ago. It cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. Okay, let's uh let's caber him. How about that, eh? One down, untold millions to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really wish the other stick were my, uh... So he popped out of there. Let's move her over to here. I, wish, I really wish the other stick were my, uh, rotate camera instead of the D-pad. Whatever. We'll... We'll get used to it. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics... Um, it's something special in my heart. It's New Ring. Arguably the lowliest of forms are more nuisance than menace. But if you're going to remember one thing, don't let those runs form a posse. Keep them apart. Otherwise, it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I don't know that he can actually reach them. Stealth move. Oh, we got stealth in this? Oh yeah, I'm gonna try it out. The thing about Final Fantasy Tactics You son of a bitch. the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, we have a fighting chance. So, um, <clears throat> the, the thing about Final Fantasy Tactics that made it so just ultra special for me. What are my options here? Knockback charge. Oh, I have a charge. Nice. So we're just gonna we're just gonna attack this guy. Glancing blow. Weak ass sauce. Okay, so So I'm gonna do well
So these guys have flasks, and flasks... They, they can actually kill your guys. Did I do it? I didn't. Did I? Is he dead? No, he's alive. Or she's alive. <clears throat> yeah, um, <laughs> your flasks can actually kill your guys, so you kind of gotta be careful with them. When I did the, the first tutorial level, I actually killed one of my own guys. Um, with a flask. Ac <laughs> just on accident. So I saw him move into those shadows. So... We're gonna we're gonna stealth move up, and Final Fantasy Tactics had this like, I'm gonna get this thought out. I swear I'm gonna get this thought out. Um, the whole thing was you could you could hire units and then name them whatever you wanted. Oh fun. So, how would I launch a ranged attack? <laughs> okay, I think I would just do it. Do it. Um, so I'm going to move here, and I'm going to use a flask again. Yeah, those two guys are way far back. So, um, yeah, flasks are AOE, so it's probably a waste to use them now. But <clears throat> I might as well, uh, I might as well take these things out quickly. Um. Yeah, and I really loved having like a whole party. Uh, I'm not gonna group up everyone. That's usually a mistake. It, it was fun to have a whole party that was like named after your friends or OCs or you know I'm just gonna move and attack this guy. Even though they're not my my meliers. Well I'll actually move one one alchemist back because they did stuff. And I'll move one alchemist over here, because they did stuff. Hunter. Good job. And, um, yeah, I really loved having having that ability to to just have a like a large and diverse team of of characters because you could name them whenever you wanted and that was the coolest part um wait a second where's my did I oh I moved my caber jack wrong whoops <laughs> Yeah, I should probably have this alchemist pull back. Um, I might as well have one throw. Well, okay, we'll throw a flask and see if we can't kill that guy. But the whole thing was, also, it was like you could name your characters, whatever you wanted. But then you could also have this, like, these two classes on everyone. So you could have this really, really, um, like, highly customizable team of characters that were your characters. Oh, 
I should have done a charge there. Um, so it was like, it, it was really unique in that you, you had this highly customizable team of basically any combination given the, the variety of classes that existed, you could get almost any combination of things like, and, and your imagination actually counted towards part of your, um, counted towards how you would... Uh, let's move him there. I think I'm just going to hit end turn on all these, except my hunter. No, I'm just going to hit end turn. I'm going to let this guy come to me now. And, like, you had this... Um, so, so it was a combination of having your uniquely named characters with a sort of highly customizable, um, job system that was really great. Okay. That was battle one, a um, massive victory. So, so I get, I guess I get to look at the details of everyone. Paul Wolfender. He's a smarty pants. He, he also looks like Liam Neeson in a DreamWorks movie. Okay, so our alchemists are going to be... That seems a little broken. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like our, alch our alchemists are going to be like the chemist. And sort of a, you know, an item-based character. And if you look, there are traits for... for um, the characters as well that are tiny, tiny bonuses. And there's actually one that's I noticed in in the other playthrough I did to test the game out that parentage is part of this. So I'm wondering if, um, yeah. So if you look, it says traits: child tendency, daughters, increased chance of having girls. So it looks like that. It looks like having progeny for your characters is going to be a thing in this game. Oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pretty predictable things for the archer. She's a smarty pants archer. A smarty pants archer with all of four intelligence. Oh, that's a she. Huh. So we got charge, rebound, examine she turn here. Okay. Proceed. So I actually think that's going to be it for this episode. It's around a good 20 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this game, uh, this video. I'm probably going to do a few more battles, and depending on how I feel about it, this may be a longer series or a shorter series. We'll see. Um, so thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.